Jim is gone. He's gone. I miss him so much. Oh, I cry myself to sleep, Jim. False. I do not miss him. I wake up every morning in a bed that's too small, drive my daughter to a school that's too expensive, and then I go to work to a job for which I get paid too little. But on pretzel day, well, I like pretzel day. Call of Duty. Not everyone approves of Movie Monday. I won't say who. I don't approve. I don't. We do safety training every year or after an accident. We've never made it a full year. This particular time, I was reaching for a supply box on the top shelf when one office worker, who shall remain nameless, kicked the ladder out from under me and yelled, Hey, Daryl, how's it hanging? <laughs> and I fell and busted my ankle. And I'm legitimately scared for my workers. Michael referred me to a male strip club called Banana Slings. Instead, I called the Scholastic Speakers of Pennsylvania. Yesterday, I was scraping some gunk off my wall sockets with a metal fork, and I gave myself the nastiest shock. And when I came to, I had an epiphany. Life is precious. And if I die, I want my son to know the dealio, the dealio of life. I don't care what Jim says. That is not the real Ben Franklin. I am 99% sure. Could you scoot over? You're on my dress. I thought you're not supposed to wear white to a wedding. I know, but there was an emergency. I look really good in white. I saw Wedding Crashers accidentally. I bought a ticket for Grizzly Man and went into the wrong theater. After an hour, I figured I was in the wrong theater, but I kept waiting. That's the thing about bear attacks. They come when you least expect it. I do. I know a fair amount about fine food and drink. Um, this is a white. Last week, I was in a drugstore and I saw these glasses. Uh, $4. And it only cost me $7 to recreate the rest of the ensemble, and that's a grand total of $11. Never, ever, ever sleep with your boss. I'm so lucky that Jan and I only got to second base. The only difference between me and a homeless man is this job. I will do whatever it takes to survive, like I did when I was a homeless man. When you become close with someone, you develop a kind of sixth sense. You can read their moods like a book. And right now, the title of Michael's book is Something Weird is Going On, colon, What Did Jan Say? The Michael Scott Story by Michael Scott with Dwight Schrute. I got them a toaster. They called off the wedding and gave the toaster back to me. I tried to return the toaster to the store and they said they no longer sold that kind of toaster. So now my house has got two toasters. Whenever I'm about to do something, I think, would an idiot do that? And if they would, I do not do that thing. Swag! Stuff we all get. I basically decorated my condo for free with all of my swag! What is... Why are there flies in here? Dwight may have won the battle, but I will win the next battle. It's a bold move to Photoshop yourself into a picture with your girlfriend and her kids on a ski trip with their real father. But then again, Michael's a bold guy. Is bold the right word? This is an old adage. But they say that when you find true love, you know within the first 24 hours. With Carol, I knew within the first 24 minutes of the second day I met her. I hear Angela's party will have double fudge brownies. It will also have Angela. Double fudge, Angela. Double fudge, Angela. Hmm. Bros before hoes. Why? Because your bros are always there for you. They have got your back after your hoe rips your heart out for no good reason. 
and you were nothing but great to your hoe, and you told her that she was the only hoe for you, and that she was better than all the other hoes in the world, and then, then suddenly she's not your hoe no mo. Are we taking this too far? You know what, I don't think we're taking this far enough. What? I got goosebumps. I don't back down. My sister and I used to be best friends, and we haven't talked in 16 years over some disagreement I don't even remember. So, yeah, I'm pretty good. This day is bananas, B-A-N-A-N-A-S. This day is bananas, B-A-N-A. I don't have a headache. I'm just preparing. Dwight betrayed me once before. So this is his strike two. You know what they say, fool me once, strike one. But fool me twice, strike three. Oompa Loompa Doompa Dee Dawson. Dwight is now gone, which is totally awesome. Why was he gone? He was such a nice guy. No, he was not. He was a total douche. Doompa Dee Doomp. Dwight will be missed. Not by me so much, but he will be missed. Dwight? from sales, was one of the most honorable and efficient employees this company has ever had. One of my life goals was to die right here in my desk chair. And today, that dream was shattered. Jan told me to play it cool and not tell anybody because it could get us both in trouble. So officially, I did not see her. But I did see Jan there in our room at night and in the morning. That's all I'm gonna say. Sex. Sex. We had sex. <laughs> I had sex with her. I had sex with Jan. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna hang it up at home. I don't have a lot of art. Put a tune in a magical any in the tuna. I miss Dwight. Congratulations, universe. You win. I have left Dunder Mifflin after many record-breaking years, and I am officially on the job market, and it's very exciting. For your convenience, I've broken it down into three parts. Professional resume. Athletic and special skills resume, and Dwight Schrute trivia. I am ready to face any challenges that might be foolish enough to face me. How would I describe myself? Three words. Hardworking, alpha male, jackhammer, merciless, insatiable. There's nothing on my horizon except everything. Everything is on my horizon. I got this job to make some money while I continue my employment search, and, uh, it's fine for the time being. Oops. Breaks over. Dwight had a big personality, and I have a big personality. And a lot of times when two people like that get together, it can be explosive. If that's flashing, then lock me up. Yes. I have decided to shun Andy Bernard for the next three years, which I'm looking forward to. It's an Amish technique. It's like slapping someone with silence. I was shunned from the age of four until my sixth birthday for not saving the excess oil from a can of tuna. I am taking a calculated risk. What's the upside? I overcome my nausea, fall deeply in love, babies, normalcy, no more self-loathing. Downside, I uh, date Michael Scott publicly and collapse in on myself like a dying star. I'm not offended by homosexuality. In the 60s, I made love to many, many women, often outdoors, in the mud and the rain, and it's possible a man slipped in. It would be no way of knowing. 
Why is this so hard? That's what she said. Oh my God, what did I say? Rachel thinks that I brought home a potato salad and I just picked it up at the supermarket. It's funny, I wish I could make potato salad that good. It's just potatoes and mayonnaise. There's something wrong with Jan. Every day for eight years, I have brought pepper spray into this office to protect myself and my fellow employees. And every day for eight years, people have laughed at me. Well, who's laughing now? I don't often miss Roy, but I can tell you one thing. I wish someone had flashed me when I was with Roy because that would have been the ass kicking of the year. <laughs> Especially if it had been Jim. He would not have wanted me to have seen Jim's. Whew, I'm, I am saying a lot of things. I'm a pretty normal guy. I do one weird thing. I like to go in the women's room for number two. I've been caught several times and I have paid dearly. Wikipedia is the best thing ever. Anyone in the world can write anything they want about any subject. So you know you are getting the best possible information. I don't think Michael intended to punish me by putting Ryan back here with Kelly. But if he did intend that, wow. Genius. There were these huge bins of clothes, and everybody was rifling through them like crazy, and I grabbed one. And it fit. So I don't think that this is totally just a woman's suit. At the very least, it's bisexual. You can learn a great deal about a man from his trash. Case in point, satellite TV bill. <laughs> Lesson learned, he's rich. Hmm. Coffee grounds. Was he enjoying a delicious hot beverage? Or disguising the scent of cocaine from drug-sniffing dogs. It's a nice house. www.creedthoughts.gov.www backslash creedthoughts. Check it out. Last year, Creed asked me how to set up a blog, wanting to protect the world from being exposed to Creed's brain. I opened up a Word document on his computer and put an address at the top. I've read some of it. Even for the internet, it's pretty shocking. I have got it made in the shade. I know this company. The other branch managers are total morons. Hey, Pam, yeah, I forgot what day the interview was and I drove to New York accidentally. Be like three hours late. I love fake boobs. Oftentimes you find them on strippers. I find it offensive. Our natural, baby. That's how I like them. Swing low, sweet chariots. I haven't heard anything, but I'd bet Jim got the job. I mean, why wouldn't he? He's totally qualified and smart. Everyone loves him. And if he never comes back again, that's okay. We're friends, and I'm sure we'll stay friends. We just, we never got the timing right. You know, I shot him down and then he did the same to me and, but you know what? It's okay. I'm totally fine. Everything is gonna be totally fine. Sorry. Um, are you free for dinner tonight? Yes. All right, then it's a date. Sorry, what was the question? 